Hey guys, hope you're all doing well today. Happy Easter to everyone. Happy Resurrection Sunday. Praise the Lord. Um, just want to come on and say hello. <clears throat> All right, pretty quiet day. I don't know what you guys have been up to today, but my family did not get together. Uh, my mom's still a little nervous about the whole COVID-19 thing, so <clears throat> our family didn't get together, but I'm wondering what you guys did today. Um, I know it's kind of hard because a lot of churches, all the churches aren't open, most of them anyway, but I took a ride to Mount Monadnock today and <clears throat> just kind of hung out at the base and just spent a little quiet time there. It was nice to just get out, but it, it is kind of eerie out today for some reason. It's just kind of strange. This whole thing is just continues day after day and, you know, we're hoping for a break, but it doesn't seem to come too quick, so... I'm hoping and praying for the best, but I just want to come on and share a couple things. Um, and actually, you're going to ask for a prayer again. Um, I was really blessed the other night when you guys prayed for me. The cravings for cigarettes went away. It was awesome. But I've been getting attacked <clears throat> since then really bad. I'm just getting all sorts of stuff happening to me. Um, I'm getting stuff here in my apartment from neighbors. I'm having difficulties. It's been an ongoing issue, but it's just getting worse. And also at work, things are really stressed. And <clears throat> we had six people um, at the the rehab that I work at. I work at a uh, residential drug and alcohol treatment center. And we had like six or seven people who relapsed and were using drugs on, on site. And we had to discharge a bunch of people. And some of them you know, that some of them come from jail and they have nowhere to go and it's really difficult. Um, a lot of the shelters aren't accepting more people. It's, this whole thing is just really messing up everything. But work's been incredibly stressful. Um, I've been getting really bad nightmares and drug dreams, you know, that I'm using drugs. I'm getting cravings to like smoke pot or drink alcohol again. They're coming out of it just everywhere and I've been having a, a difficult time with a, a good friend of mine and the Lord who I love we've been having a hard time with communicating and we're not understanding each other in some areas and it's just getting weird and I, I brought it to the Lord and um, I don't understand what's going on but this is someone I really love and it's like the enemy's trying to mess with me so I'm just asking for your prayers, and I'd really appreciate it. If you guys have prayer requests, put them in the comments, and we'll pray for you. It really does help when we pray for each other. And this is when the body of Christ really comes together and just shows the love of Christ. But So that that's something I wanted to share. And uh, it's hard, too, because like, there's not a lot of the support groups that are uh, connecting for people to go to get help for um, addiction stuff right now and I apologize guys I am really stuffed up my allergies are really bad I need prayer for that too I'm so stuffed up and I have this constant battle that doesn't seem to go away and I'm asking for prayer for that but um, yeah like a lot of the AA groups and the NA groups aren't getting together and you know I'm not a big fan of AA and NA but they do help a lot of people but I used to do those groups but I did the research into them and there's some occult. Um, there's some occult background in a lot of those groups. Um, there just is, and I know like the twelve steps and the twelve traditions. That book came from some automatic writing and some spirit guidance, and I don't I don't believe it was the Holy Spirit. Um, it gets a little strange, and I know Bill Wilson, the founder, he was into. Uh, um, seances and some weird stuff, some spiritism. And, you know, with AA, it's the whole, you know, choose your own God of your own understanding. And it's very ecumenical and it's kind of new agey. Now, there's some things in there that can be helpful, but it can get really strange. And I think it's dangerous as we approach the end times or in the end times. It's great. They help a lot of people get clean and sober. But what does it matter if you're clean and sober end up in hell forever? You know, and this is what the enemy hides from people. He he has his ministers of righteousness, but they look all moral and they're clean and sober, but they're they're preaching lies about God 
you know, and it's this ecumenical God that answers to the, the Jews, the Muslims, the Christians, the Buddhists, the, you know, atheists that make up their own. I mean, it's just unbelievable. But um, I know it can help some people. And there's some Christian groups, too. You know, I'm, not, I'm not real big on that either because a lot of them are, like, the Celebrate Recovery is... It's like Christianizing the 12 steps, but I know that can help people. I did it for a while back in the day. It, it helped me, but I don't judge anyone who does it. It's just something I, I don't do as much, but I feel for the people who, who are missing that help. I think some of them are going online and stuff, but there's other things too. There's like smart recovery that's just kind of more of a logical, rational way to look at it. Um, and then there are some good 12, uh, not 12 steps, some good Christian groups that are just... They just focus on the Lord and the Word, and they help people through addiction in that way. But anyway, there's there's a lot of resources out there to help people. But um, drug and alcohol use has spiked during this time. It's huge right now, and so that's something to consider. Um, you know, I try to tell people to turn to Jesus. He's the one that's going to help you through your problems. Drugs and alcohol, just, drugs and alcohol just mask the problem for a couple hours, and then it's back and it's worse after and that's what i used to do for years but you know i've been clean and sober for almost three years now and getting these attacks and cravings is just out of nowhere so anyway i just wanted to share that and uh, i wanted to also uh, give a shout out there's a couple of ministries that i wanted to share and i think i've shared some of these before but um one of them i just watched uh fellowship bible chapel uh, John Holler does a weekly prophecy update, and he's pretty good. Um, today's especially is really good. I encourage everyone to watch it. I'm going to put the link in the description box because it's just he shows you what's going on with this COVID-19 thing, and he's not fanatical. He's not conspiratorial. He looks at some of the real news out there, what's going on. He looks at it through a biblical lens. And, you know, he gave an amazing presentation at the end of this prophecy update today. It's really special um, towards the end. And he, he gets the gospel right. You know, it's believing in the death, burial, and resurrection. And he does use the KJV, so I was encouraged by that. So I definitely recommend him. And I also um, would recommend uh, Rock Harbor Church Prophecy Update. That's Rock Harbor Church in, I think it's Bakersfield, California. And Pastor Brandon Holthouse, he's another free, free grace, pre-trib, uh, dispensational pastor, Bible teacher. He's not a King James guy, but he gets, you know, all, all his doctrines pretty solid. And he has a very good um, understanding of what's happening with the COVID-19 thing. And he looks at... Uh, this from a biblical perspective and he usually does a weekly prophecy he also does you know a sermon in the bible uh prophecy update every week and he's pretty good so i'd recommend him also i'm not sure if he has a bible prophecy out today but i know he has a sermon out today he's got a youtube channel and then i've also recommended or i've watched uh andy woods in the past and he's out of sugarland bible church in texas and andy is a free grace Bible teacher pastor. He is not a King James guy. He's a New American Standard Bible, but he gets most of his doctrine right. Besides that fact, I don't split over that issue. Um, I prefer King James Bible. Um, I think it's the most accurate translation, but I don't split over this if they have the gospel right and the doctrine right. Um, but he's good. He gives some updates on this once in a while. Not a lot. You know, he'll do it maybe once a month, but he also has done a really good series on the rapture these last two weeks he's got a part one and a part two he did it last week and this week so his youtube channel is andy woods and that's a pretty good one and the other person i want to mention is um james knox he's a pastor and bible teacher he's out of florida he is a king james bible guy and he's a free grace uh dispensational pre-trib Bible teacher. He's really solid, really solid. I really like him a lot. Um, he's on every week, and I just want to see what his YouTube channel. It's James W. Knox Sermons is his YouTube channel, but he's got some really good stuff. Um, but with John Harlow's 
prophecy update today there's just a lot of stuff he talks about you know things like the for instance some of the dairy farmers they're producing too much milk and because a lot of the schools are closed and universities and companies and they're not consuming as much milk and stuff and cheese and and they're having to get rid of some of it they can't hold on to it and they need to continue to milk these cows or they can die and it's just interesting how this is affecting everyone like even like with disney world uh shut down they see like 58 million people a year and that's a lot of food to serve people and income and jobs and i mean it's just having a huge impact on all these places you don't really think about but i guess disney sees like 1 million customers per week and that's all gone away right now so they have this overabundance of food and same with the oil you know there's an overproduction of oil going on right now and that's causing some havoc jobless claims are just skyrocketing um over the last few weeks there's been like millions like over uh 15 million jobless claims just amazing over the last couple of weeks and the whole stimulus thing um we're looking at like up to nine trillion dollars being inject injected into the economy and you know that devalues the dollar and it puts us in more debt and you know what's going to happen if we don't rebound out of this and i'm not trying to evoke any fear guys but there's real implications of this thing it's really having a bigger impact than i think any of us thought and it's still not over yet um and i'm looking at the coronavirus website um arcgis.com right now there's 1.8 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 you know I'm not sure how accurate this is I think it's pretty accurate I believe it's from the CDC but that is what it is and there's oh let's see 114,000 people have died worldwide and in the U.S. we have 555,000 confirmed cases and we have over 22,000 deaths so my heart goes out to anyone who knows someone who has died from this or who is sick you know i pray father in jesus name for healing and for people to get saved through this and that you'd help our government leaders our medical staff our military our uh, police and leaders i just pray in jesus name to give them wisdom discernment guidance and protection in jesus name uh, it's just this impact is huge it's just affecting a lot and the global implications are huge there's some language in the stimulus package about digital currency and, and with this whole id 2020 thing and there's all this new information coming out about uh, about these uh quantum dot tattoos that contain vaccines and they kind of put a hand stamp and there's just some really strange fallout from this and I don't know what it's going to lead to yet you know but we can only pray that the lord will bring us through it he says he'll walk through these things with us and he promises to never leave us or forsake us so we can keep our eyes and trust in him throughout this whole thing um but there was also another strange thing um in kentucky there was a church that the people wanted to meet on easter sunday and they did but the governor warned that he would be ticketing people and taking down their license plates and when the uh, church members pulled into the parking lot they had people had put like a bunch of nails in the parking lots but the people got out of their cars and scooped up all the nails and they parked but sure enough there were state police in there taking pictures of license plates and there were some protesters uh, so there's some weird things happening um, I've heard in some areas um, buying ammo and getting gun purpose uh gun permits is delayed right now so we're seeing some of our rights being taken away and clamped down upon um so you know there is some truth to some of the conspiracy stuff you know i don't want to throw that stuff out the whole baby with the bathwater thing but um there is some real implications of this but i just don't think we're at a place where we can make a definite conclusive uh statement about this yet it's still happening and you know uh, the numbers are pretty high um so i used to think well it's not you know even as bad as the regular flu but i think the contagious part of this is a little different and the numbers are a little different we don't have a solid base yet uh the uh 
the denominator isn't fixed yet in this equation. You know, the numerator, we're getting every day different numbers, but the denominator, um, we don't know everyone who has tested yet. We don't know. Some people might have it. They don't even know it because sometimes you don't show symptoms for a while. Um, but I'm still essential at work because of my uh, job in the healthcare, and I know a lot of other people are doing that, but with so many people out of work, I went out today, I went to Walmart and got some things, and I actually went to Kentucky Fried Chicken today. I was really glad they were open. Had a, you know, not the healthiest meal, but it was fun to have a, uh, a Kentucky Fried Chicken meal today. But I just had to get out. I was feeling like I was going stir crazy here today. And, you know, it's hard. Some of us are single. I'm single, and um, it's pretty tough right now. Um, it's just more isolation, you know, than what I'm used to. But I'm still looking for a cat. Um, I want to adopt a cat. I'd love to get a dog, but I can't have a dog in this apartment complex. But I want to get a cat, I think. But I want to see how this whole thing uh, plays out. And so anyway, I just want to come on and say hello. I just want to encourage everyone to hang in there. I know it's difficult, and the Lord is going to bring us through this. And, you know, he said... In this world, you will have trouble, and but rest assured, I've overcome the world, and we can trust in Him. And we're just passing through here. And you know, even in the plagues, Israel did have to go through some of those plagues. Um, but I think we're definitely, you know, seeing some serious tribulation signs and shadows. This, you know, we I believe we are in the end times, for absolutely, and we are quickly approaching those times. And the rapture, the catching away could happen at any time, and we're to comfort one another with the fact that the catching away is going to happen, and it's an imminent thing. It could happen at any time. There is nothing that has to happen for the rapture to happen. It could happen tonight. It could happen in three seconds, and it will happen at some point, and hopefully we are that rapture generation. Uh, things in Israel are crazy. They're still trying to form a government. Um, and there's some interesting fallout with that. And uh, Erdogan, Erdogan, the president of Turkey, is making some bold statements during this whole thing. And uh, I have a website I go on that shows the drug busts all over the world. And there are massive drug busts going on. Uh, the U.S. has ramped up. I did a video about that. They're, they're putting a lot of resources with our armed services to go after some of these cartels and drug smuggling operations right now because they're flooding our country because they want to take advantage of this because they know people are scared and they know that people turn to drugs during this time so i've been looking worldwide and there's just huge drug busts everywhere so you know we pray for our border patrol and our our dea guys and all of them you know um, but it really is impacting everything but you know we're not to fear we are not to fear. I have not given you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind. So let's just encourage each other and hang in there. And if you have prayer requests, put them in the comments, and we'll pray for you. And I just want to thank you guys for praying for me. And I love you guys. And I look forward to your videos and your encouragement, all of you. Uh, you bless me with so much uh, just positive feedback. And it's just been great to to fellowship with you guys and learn from you and grow together. I wish we were doing it face to face, you know, in, in real time. Maybe sometime we'll have a chance to do that if this whole, if, when this blows over. And we're definitely going to be in eternity forever, so I look forward to that. But it would be nice to see you guys here and now. <laughs> but anyway, I love you guys and I hope you have a good night and you're in my prayers and we are going to get through this. All right, God bless you.